I already told you about uh, four areas. Okay, the number one area we call it as a need, want, demand, product, services, market, the exchange, transaction, satisfaction. For all these six areas, I mean nine areas, I mean that the entrepreneurs are responsible for identifying what is the need for a product, what is the demand for a product, what is the growth of a product, and what is the development of a product, and how this entrepreneur is making use of these areas is most uh, important area. Okay, and that's why we give top priority particularly for I mean, uh, what is happening as far as entrepreneurial talent is concerned. And without the entrepreneurs, nothing will move in an organization life. Okay, and uh, this is uh, what entrepreneurs do. Number one, poverty alleviation. Because you now they are responsible for removing poverty from the society. And they also pay a lot of taxes. For example, you know, now they are paying GST, for example. Okay, that will add uh, tax revenues to the government. Okay, both the central government and the state government. GST, you know, where we are paying uh, both for the central government as well as state government. And uh, the entrepreneurial uh, talent is helpful to us to identify or improve all these areas. The next area comes under higher productivity and the innovations. And higher productivity is also possible because of uh, the people, those who behind this organization. And uh, it is possible for them to achieve better results. And then the, these entrepreneurs are also responsible for creating wealth for themselves. Okay, you take now, for example, Ambani. Uh, you know Dhruva Ambani, the founder of Ambani. Okay, what he was doing, he was selling textile yarns in Mumbai streets. And uh, these textile yarns, uh, they were using Adan Pan Mama. Adan, is Adan Pan. And uh, they are responsible for, if you take that Mr. Ambani, Dhruva Ambani, Dhirubhai Ambani is one gentleman who is responsible for creating more and more wealth and uh, more output and uh, more exports. Okay. And uh, again, now you take Adani, for example. Okay. Now Adani, they have purchased this LNT shipping limited here at uh, uh, very near to this place. Uh, sir, now the uh, power has resumed in my place, sir. So, I will teach you through the, after 10 minutes now, I will be joining through personal computer. So, please stay back. Okay. But we will continue till uh, my PC is going to on. You can get on. So, there are uh, Adani, if you take no, he is a purchaser of LNT shipping services here. And uh, this LNT shipping, they are doing wonders in as far as uh, Enur is concerned. Okay, now uh, adjacently there is a uh, Kamaraja Portus is there in the north. Okay, and it is only a mega structure which is coming in there. And Adani he is known for fortune edible oil. So initially he entered into this edible oil business. Okay, and uh, they call it as a sunflower oil, refined uh, sunflower oil, fortune, which is number one brand if you take an edible oil all over India. So Adani is uh, one of the very good uh, role model and uh, he purchased a lot of. Uh, uh, this one no coal mines in uh, Australia. Okay, so wherever these uh, entrepreneurs are going, so they are doing wonders. Okay, and the uh, entrepreneurs are mainly responsible for generating more and more employment opportunities and the income generation. And uh, they are also responsible for creating more and more wealth for themselves as well as creating, I mean, wealth for others. Okay, so these are all the things uh, which are uh, taking place as far as organizations are concerned. The next area we'll go ahead with the most resource regions in the world, whoever are poor and the resource poor regions are rich. We call it the resource curse phenomenon. Okay, so most resource rich regions, the world over are poor and the resource poor regions are rich. We call it as a resource curse phenomenon. So underdevelopment is not because of the lack of natural resources, but because of the deficiency in the combining process itself that is undertaken entrepreneurs. So capital and the technology are futile till the absorbing capacity of the country is inadequate because of the shortage of skills or attitude of entrepreneurship, which is forever change. You know, if you take uh, in Tamil Nadu as such, there are a large number of entrepreneurs are there. Say, for example, now you take Sarana Bhavan. Okay, Sarana Bhavan has been set up by this uh, Raju Gopal Anachi for the first time uh, in a very, very big manner. 
Okay, after his demise, no, he saw, they sold this around about. But it is one of the success story as per as Tamil Nadu is concerned. Okay, so what he did, no, initially he started uh, entering into this uh, business, bottle business. You know, he was having a provision store in Ashok Nagar. At that time, most of the sales personnel, they used to come to his shop. And he used to say that, you please, Anachya, order a cigarette and put it in there. நாங்கள் சாப்பிட போகணும்னா மாம்பழம் போனால் தான் எங்களுக்கு சாப்பாடு கிடைக்கும் அப்படின்னு உடனே அவர் என்ன நினச்சா நம்ம ஏன் ஒரு ஹோட்டலை இங்கே தரக்கூடாதுன்ட்டு ஒரு ஹோட்டலில் தருந்தார் அப்புறம் என்னாச்சுன்னா அவரால் அந்த ரெண்டுமே மளிகை கடையும் பார்த்துக்கிட்டு இந்த ஹோட்டலையும் பார்த்துக்க முடியல ரெண்டுமே க்ளோஸ் பண்ணிட்டாரு அதுக்கப்புறம் அந்த வீடு அவர் கடை வச்சுருந்தார் இல்லையா அந்த இடம் வந்து தூத்துக்குடியில் ஒரு நாடாக இருக்குது விற்றுட்டார் ஸோ ஒரு நாள் இங்கே இருந்த காரில் அம்பாசிடர் காரில் போனார் அந்த தூத்துக்குடி நாடார் வந்து ஒரு வெள்ளிக்கிழமை அதுவுமா பார்த்து இவர்கிட்ட பணம் கொடுத்துருக்காரு அதை எடுத்துகிட்டு நேராக திருத்தணி வந்து அந்த முருகனை கும்பிட்டு வந்து சரணம் பவுண்ட் ஆரம்பிச்சாரு அண்ட் இட் ஹஸ் பிகம் ஏ சக்சஸ்ஃபுல் ஏரியா ஆல் ஓவர் த ஐ மீன் இந்தியா அண்ட் ஆல் ஓவர் த வேர்ல்ட் ஐ கால் இட் இதை த்ரூ தே ஹவ் அ பிரான்சஸ் ஆல் ஓவர் ஐ மீன் சவுத் ஈஸ்ட் ஏஷியன் ரீஜியன் ஓகே இது வந்து வி கால் திஸ் ஹஸ் அண்ட் என்டர்பிரனரியல் டேலண்ட் அதுக்கப்புறம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அவர் சரண பவன் ஈ ஸ்டார்டட் செட்டிங் அப் மேஜர் ஏரியாஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஆல் மேஜர் ஏரியா டவுன்ஸ் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு They have started as setting up. So this is what we call it as an entrepreneurial talent. Okay, similar is the case with your Lucas TVS group of companies. If you take Lucas TVS group of companies, once upon a time, they were providing transportation services in Madurai. Okay, in Madurai, they were providing transportation services. But what happened, these people, they wanted to enter into... They wanted to enter into... manufacturing business parcel manufacturing business in 1970 there was a problem in tamil nadu where sparklers were not available all over tamil nadu and all over india you can at the time there was only one company was there and they are the only people who are selling of this uh, uh, sparklers okay so afterwards they filed a case in the central government okay and they were asking uh, permission to manufacture sparklers so 1972 that indian government gave permission to Lucas CVS to enter into spark plug manufacturing business. And today, they are not only ruling the entire world, they are ruling the entire uh, uh, two-wheeler segment and uh, three-wheeler and four-wheeler segments. And they are one of the leading producers of OEM, original equipment manufacturers for the, I mean, uh, the domestic automobile industry. Imagine, you know, just a small innovation. Spark plug in, uh, I mean, uh, they started with the spark plug manufacturing Whereas today, they are manufacturer of different components required for cars and as well as buses. Okay. Even now, some of the parts for Ashokalil and buses are produced by Lucas CVS group of companies, Rane group of companies, Carwell and Universal, and some of the Indian government uh, companies. Okay. So this is what we call it as an entrepreneurial talent. And uh, again, when we wanted to say about uh, in Tamil Nadu, that uh, Nathu Kottin Chetiyas group is known for this entrepreneurial talent. Because... They are the people. You know what they are saying? The Nata Kote Chetiyas is going to go to India, Ilange, Burma, and the Nata Kote Chetiyas is going to finance the Vandik. And the Vandik is going to go to that point. They are going to go to that point. Now, if you look at the Indian Wars, they are going to go to that point. They are going to go to that point. They are going to go to the Bharat Wars. They are going to go to the United States of India. They are going to go to the United States of India. They are going to go to the first sport company. They are going to go to that point. அது மாதிரி இப்போ இந்த ஸ்பிக்கர் இருக்காரு இல்லைங்களா ஸோ அவங்களும் அந்த குரூப் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அவங்களும் நாட்டுக்கோட்டை செட்டியார்ஸ் தான் ஸ்பிக் இருக்கு ஸ்பிக்லேயே இப்போ பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அவங்க ஹவ் டைவர்சிஃபைட் இன் டு ஏபிஐ ஆக்டிவ் ஃபார்மசூட்டிகள் இன்க்ரீடியன்ட்டு தே ஆல்சோ ஐ மீன் டைவர்சிஃபைட் இன் டு பெட்ரோ கெமிக்கல்ஸ் ஓகே தேர் இஸ் அ கம்பெனி கால்டு தமிழ்நாடு பெட்ரோ ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் ஓகே தமிழ்நாடு பெட்ரோ ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் இஸ் அ கம்பெனி இந்த ஃபேன் ஆஃபன் பெட்ரோ ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் இஸ் அ கம் Tamil Nadu Petro Products is a company where they are producing Dhan Manu Madhu, Oka Dhan Manu Madhu. Sir, kindly stay with us. Please stay with us. Let me try to connect it through personal computer. Okay, okay.
there are a large number of entrepreneurs are there and these entrepreneurs are responsible for creating more number of companies and i already told you about the speak okay in 1980s speak was the only company in tamil nadu where they were producing more than 1000 crores fertilizers unit okay and from there they have diversified into active pharmaceutical ingredient in tamil nadu in kadalur they have set up a plant okay in that particular plant you know what they are doing uh, they are producing the penicillin g okay penicillin g is required as an active pharmaceutical ingredient to manufacture different type of antibiotics imagine you now once upon a fertilizer company they have entered into spic pharmaceuticals where they produce penicillin g okay and they have also failed in that otc market over the counter market they wanted to sell some uh, yeah, box where uh, they wanted to put one paracetamol tablet like bernal uh, like uh, cream like they know they want to sell but in that area they have failed miserably okay but they have not failed as per as uh, that diversification to petrochemicals if you are getting it in manali la tamil nadu petro products appdi or company irukku na tamil nadu petro products enna pandranga na they are producing linear alkaline benzene okay and the linear alkaline benzene vandha nama thunni soap irukkeengala adula payanpaduthu so avanga enna pandranga appadina they are experts in manufacturing this linear alkaline benzene a raw material which is required for uh, manufacturing this uh, detergents okay so they have a tie up with the enco of west german okay the enco and west german avanga enna pannanga appdi sonna they have joined hands with the spic okay and the enco enna pannanga appadina they have one enzyme based detergent which is known as geolite okay for the first time in india they have launched a most environmental friendly detergent in indian market okay and uh, that product is known as known as enco detergent powder and enco detergent cake okay and today they are dominating the entire uh, uh, southern states four southern states okay they are the late followers as far as the fmcg industry is concerned but their product is moving very well and uh, recently you know they have sold their shares nearly 26% of the shares held by speak they have sold it to uh, jodi laboratories based in bombay and uh, now it is a product of joint venture between uh, jodi laboratories and uh, the central of west germany but all the mds and all these people know they have been promoted as directors they are continuing to stay with the same organization okay and they, if at all they recruit anybody you know they used to recruit people only from mba from iams okay all these iam guys they were unable to manage uh, particularly you know that eastern part and western part western part of india was a nightmare for this company so that's why they have sold this company initially they were depend upon the godrej products to market their products and uh, similarly this side no eastern part side they have purchased a company called uh, calcutta chemical company they are the manufacturer of ranipal and uh, margo soap that company has been merged with uh, hemco india limited okay in spite of all these things they have sold that they speak they don't want to continue with the fmcg business now they have sold their shares to the jodi laboratories limited a bombay based company where they are manufacturing ujala because they have a better distribution network so through the uh, distribution pipeline they are also selling this enco detergent powder and detergent cake okay so these are all the entrepreneurial talents which are known for uh, as per tamil nadu is concerned okay then ta group ta group they have ta cycles adukapra pathena carbon dam universal avanga kitta iruke okay then paris sugars is a company what they are having so there are different type of companies are also they are having and they are doing wonderful business right now so these are all the few examples for entrepreneurship as per tamil nadu is concerned Okay, then we will move on to the next slide. Sir, uh, PPT is slightly visible, sir. Sir, okay. So, sources of entrepreneurial supply: number one, autonomous; number two, induced. Okay. So, let us say the third one is the entrepreneurial talent. Now, I am saying that the city of the world is autonomous. I am saying that the city of the world is autonomous. I am saying that the city of the world is autonomous. I am saying that the city of the world அப்போ வந்து இந்த டீ டீ தோட்டம் தேயிலை தோட்டங்கள் அதுக்கப்புறம் காஃபி எஸ்டேட்ஸு இதெல்லாம் வாங்கக்கூடிய சக்தி இருந்த ஒரே கம்யூனிட்டி எதுன்னா அவங்க மட்டும்தான் அந்த நாட்டுக்கோட்டை சிட்டியர்ஸ் கம்யூனிட்டி மட்டும்தான் அவங்ககிட்ட நிறைய பணம் இருந்தது அதனால அவங்களால இந்த டீ எஸ்டேட்டு காஃபி எஸ்டேட்ஸ்லாம் வாங்கிட்டாங்க இப்போ ஊட்டி அதே மாதிரி ஏற்காடு இந்த ஏரியாலாம் போய் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இன்றைக்கு கூட அந்த டீ எஸ்டேட்டு காஃபி எஸ்டேட்ஸ் நிறைய இவங்க கண்ட்ரோலில் தான் இருக்குது நாட்டுக்கோட்டை சிட்டியர்ஸ் கண்ட்ரோலில் இருக்கு என்ன ரீசன் அப்படின்னா அவங்க அந்த காலத்துலேயே பர்மா இலங்கை நம்ம நாடுகளில் வந்து போய் பணத்தை வண்டிக்கு விட்டு பணம் சம்பாதிச்சுவாங்க 
அதனால அவங்க கிட்ட இஸ் மோர் தமிழ்நாடோட குரோத் அப்படின்ட்டு இந்த மாதிரி டி வி எஸ் சுந்தரா மையங்கள்ஸ் குரூப் அதுக்கப்புறம் இந்த நாட்டுக்கோட்டை செட்டியர்ஸ் குரூப் ஸ்விக் குரூப் அப்புறம் அந்த பேரியன் கம்பெனி அந்த அவங்களுடைய அந்த குரூப் ஓகே இது மாதிரி ஃபியூ குரூப்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் வேர் தேர் ரெஸ்பான்சிபிள் அதே மாதிரி சிம்சன் குரூப் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் ஆல் த ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் கான்ட்ரிபியூட்டிங் மோர் டு த சக்ஸஸ் ஆஃப் அன் ஆர்கனை ஐ மீன் சக்ஸஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் என்டர்பிரனரியல் டேலண்ட் ஆஸ் பர் அஸ் இந்தியா இஸ் கன்சர்ன் தென் ஆன் நார்த் இந்தியா லெவல் ஐ டோல் யூ மெனி ஏரியாஸ் so whether uh, uh, can entrepreneurs be created certainly as experience indicates that there is enormous untapped entrepreneurial potential in india okay ipo nama ellarume nariya padichuvanga ellarume nama enna pandrom appdi sonna nama oru tholil aarambikkadhu kediyadhu nama vandha vela seiyradha dhaan virumbrom ellarume so that is one of the drawback what we have and it is possible for us to go for entrepreneurial talent that is number 1 the number 2 there are ample unexploited opportunities are there we have a export at the time when india would exports of the world exports level just 2% that we are having so it is possible for us to uh, unexploited uh, uh, opportunities are available then one shown people will respond to opportunities the latent potential enterprise among people could be identified and then developed through appropriate training and counseling inter- interventions and linking the person with a viable business opportunity okay that's what no most of the iit guys are doing okay they are setting up their own startup and it is possible for them to come up with uh, uh, very good ideas and the products and services and the why the bankers perceive credit to, to start up risk okay number one risk and opportunity identification the risk and commercial viability the risk and investment the risk and financing the risk and management so these are all the a uh, perceived uh, credit to startup risky by the bankers okay so bankers risk perception on entrepreneur the persons behind a project okay so uh, there are different different institutes are there in india eda is at entrepreneurial development institute is there in tamil nadu no we have entrepreneurial development institute okay once uh, the entrepreneur goes and approach them they provide a lot of facilities okay what are the funds available for small medium and uh, tiny enterprises okay msme we call it medium and then small and then micro and uh, tiny industries okay there are different opportunities available for this type of people so they can uh, join uh, i mean take this loan and they can also get lot of uh, marketing uh, i mean inputs from these organizations then the edp inputs on their focus okay so first thing uh, this uh, entrepreneurial development focuses on as an entrepreneur whether he is having that attitude or not the number two reinforcement of entrepreneurial traits number 3 motivation and behavioral inputs then enterprise establishment so they provide knowledge to set up a enterprise establishment then facilitation of decision making process to set up new ventures so business opportunity guidelines information project planning inputs and technical inputs the enterprise management skills successful and profitable operation of an enterprise then managerial inputs okay so these are the things what we have to do then how the entrepreneurs are developed so persons in the age group of 18 to 45 i mean uh, they are uh, it is possible for them to develop then we have uh, different types of uh, entrepreneurial development programs are there so that the eda programs are uh, it is possible for them to equip themselves okay so uh, they will be helping in identifying selecting uh, uh, developing an entrepreneurs developing their entrepreneurial capabilities then ensuring that each potential entrepreneurs as a viable industrial project then equipping them with the basic managerial understanding then helping them secure financial infrastructural and related assistance then we have performance evaluation of edps okay about 44 uh, uh, 54% startup 68.21% first generation entrants 89.7% join edps with no or letter business a little business idea 29% were students another 25.6% were unemployed so most of the time now if you happen to take up this startup companies we have different uh, type of people entering into entrepreneurial uh, i mean uh, area then there are large number of trained versus non trained entrepreneurs are there then uh, these are all the stages of entrepreneurship development and related interventions number one we call this as a emergency stage new enterprise creation programs the rural micro enterprise and the micro finance development programs counseling suppose you take now in nagapattinam there is a you know very well nabad is a nabad is a 
I am a sister consultant of Reserve Bank of India. So what they are doing, you know, for the first time, they not only lend loan to the uh, help, I mean, the self-help group of women, they also uh, take part of the risk associated with it. Okay, so they call it as a sustainability uh, of that uh, self-help groups. You know, most of the people, they set up their small and medium enterprises, they run away after some time, okay. In order to avoid this, they also associate with the risk associated with the, the self-help groups. For the first time in India, they have implemented this in uh, Nagapatnam district. Okay, they not only lend money, Nabad is not only lending money to the uh, uh, self-help group women, they also uh, take part in that risk associated with in implementation of this particular project. Then they provide counseling to uh, the microfinance uh, people. Then business opportunity guidance. You know, myself uh, once, you know, Kadikraft, they asked me to go and uh, give a training for a self-help group in Padavar Kadu. Okay, Padavar Kadu, you know, there are a large number of uh, women, Muslim women are there. Okay, so there are two jobs are there. Majority of the people living in Padavar Kadu, they go for, uh, I mean, this moon uh, Okay. They are involving themselves into different types of products. So I explained what are all the things that they can do with the palmyra trees. Okay. All learning on the on the yellow or clear pana wall or clear. Pana wall is under. I am enna na purulang seela. Abdi gado under. Once on behalf of the CDP itself, I gave a session there for Kadi Craft in. Uh, I mean, uh, very near to that Padua Kadu. So they immensely they are benefited because of these things. Okay, then second one is survival stage, then third one growth stage, then program for support system, then uh, what are all the international contributions by EDP, then categories of entrepreneurs we are going to see. Okay, so the, there are four types of entrepreneurs are there, and number one, innovators, then number two, imitators, number three, Fabian, number four, drones. Okay, innovators are the people who are ready to bring something new for the first time. Okay, and the second one, we call them as a imitators. Okay, so whatever that others did, these people used to copy down and they used to implement it. Then the third one, Fabian entrepreneurs are there. What these Fabian entrepreneurs will do? We can know they are the people, whatever, uh, I mean, uh, they uh, invest and they keep quiet. And what the money comes, that they will go ahead with it. So these are all the different types of entrepreneurs that we have. And then uh, we'll go for, uh, what do you mean by... Understanding this uh, entrepreneurship. So the PPT is visible to you. So we are going to uh, uh, define who is an entrepreneur. Okay, one who organizes, manages, assumes risk of a business or enterprise. Okay, so business, all of us we know, not visible. One minute, please say back. No, sir. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it is visible to you? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, uh, we are going to define who is an entrepreneur. The entrepreneur is one who organizes, manages, and assumes the risk of a business or enterprise. Okay, we know very well what do you mean by business. Business means uh, we try to identify need, want, demand for product or services, and all the things takes place in a market. And again, market exchange takes place. In market uh, transaction takes place. Finally, the uses a product or uses a services, then he gets immense satisfaction. That's what we call it as a business. So business is an activity in which the organization identify 
the need, want, demand for a product or services. And all these things are taking place in a market. India market exchange takes place. India market, I mean, the transaction takes place. Finally, the buyer uses your product or your services and they get immense satisfaction. So that's what we call it as an entrepreneur. Okay. Then the entrepreneurship is a mindset. So what we try to do here, uh, there is a, we are always trying for opportunity. Okay. What are all the opportunities which are available in a given area that we try to focus upon? The number two area, we try to identify innovativeness or innovation. Innovation, I already told you, it is a, a successful commercialization of an invention. We call it as an innovation. Then third area, we call it as a growth oriented. Okay. So these are all the entrepreneurship mindset. Okay. They are always looking forward for opportunity. That's why I told you about Amida Bachchan's story. Okay. When Amida Bachchan met with an accident, I mean, there was a need was there. There was a very good demand was there for the, this antibiotic called the uh, sub, uh, supplies for antibiotic in India. Okay. So that is what we call it as a uh, entrepreneurial mindset or opportunity focus. Then innovation, then growth oriented. We you know once that uh, they have started focusing upon uh, more and more and it is possible for them to run an organization better. So these are all the important areas. So from ideas to realization. Idea is converted to innovation. Innovation is converted to realization. And finally, they are making up their money out of this product or services, whatever they are feeding into a market. And these are all the, the promise of entrepreneurship and integrated input and output model, then career assessment approach, the new venture creation process. Okay. So these are all the different promises of entrepreneurship. An integrated input and output model, the career assessment approach, the new venture creation process. Then we call this as a, the entrepreneurship process. Okay. And if you see this uh, entrepreneurship uh, process, it is possible for you to the different stages. Okay. So these uh, uh, stages are there and uh, different uh, entrepreneurial uh, talents are there that uh, I will explain to you right now. Okay. So what is the outcome of this entrepreneurship, the economic growth, the new industry formation and the job creation. So it is through knowledge, it is possible for us to create more wealth and the wealth will lead to philanthropy. Okay. That's what majority of the organizations are doing. Once they started earning more and more money, and it is possible for them to contribute towards that, uh, I mean, new, I mean, the, to this society, what we call it as a philanthropic activity. Then new industry formation, new industries are born when technological change produces new opportunity that an enter uh, enterprising entrepreneur ceases. Then disruptive or metamorphic technologies that destroy previous technologies, create new industries and display a different uh, pattern of behavior. The pattern of growth, shakeout, stabilization, and decline of industry can be interpreted at any time by the entry of another uh, disruptive technology. Okay, this is industry life cycle. This is job creation. And the nature of entrepreneurship, uh, I mean, setup, sort of. So there are three, three primary characteristics are there. One is innovative, then value creating, then growth oriented. And a new business formation. Entrepreneurs use identical milestones to measure their progress, deciding to start a business, researching the concepts, preparing for launch, securing the first customer, obtaining the business license, and other activities which signal the business is in operation. The next, we'll go ahead with the social, political, economic context of the entrepreneurial process. And the new business failures, socially responsible entrepreneurship, the entrepreneurial revolution. And uh, these are all the entrepreneurial trends and then launching new ventures. Okay, these are all the checklists. Okay, so we have to, we have decided what even we entrepreneurship and we have explained the role of entrepreneurship in economic growth then we have distinguished entrepreneurial ventures from small business in terms of their purpose and goals 
Then we have described the evolution of entrepreneurship as a field of study since 1960s. Then identify today's broad trends in the field of entrepreneurship. Then we will move on to the next slide. Now we are going to discuss about uh, what are all the, what do you mean by licensing. Then we are also going to discuss about uh, that uh, uh, intellectual property rights. Okay, whenever we talk about that innovation, we have to discuss about these areas. So we will discuss about those areas right now. We are going to see what do you mean by intellectual property or IPR. And we are also going to discuss about what do you mean by licensing and what do you mean by compulsory licensing. Sir, is it visible to you? No, sir. Now it is visible? Yes. Yeah. So we are going to see about what are the different types of properties are there. So before we uh, discuss about the intellectual property, let us see what are the different kinds of properties are there. Number one, movable property, immovable property, then intellectual property. Okay, we are more worried about this intellectual property or we call it a separate rights. So these are all the nature of intellectual property. For example, creation of human mind. Okay, so there are many intellectuals are there and this intellectual are identifying something new for the first time. So we call this as a creation of human mind or intellect. Okay, so when it is something, you know, there are two elements have been identified by Soviet scientists, okay? And uh, these uh, elements have been, uh, I mean, added uh, their own name. So that is what we call it as an intellectual property. And then number two, intangible property. It is uh, not possible for you to see uh, the property of that particular intellectual capability. So it is uh, only, you can only feel about it. You cannot uh, see it. That is what we call it as intangible. It is invisible. Then exclusive rights given by the status because, you know, we have... Uh, World Trade Organization, and we have Intellectual Property Organization, we have WAPO, World Intellectual Property Organization is also there. So whenever we are having IPR, so we have to, that patent, we have to get it only from the Intellectual Property Organizations. Okay, and the patents are always, you know, this Intellectual Property is always time bow and it, they are territorial in nature. Okay. Then number two, then we are going to see about uh, what is the next area. We are going to see about definition of intellectual property. Intellectual property shall include the rights relating to literary, artistic and the scientific works, performance of performing artists, phonograms and the broadcast, then invention in all fields of human endeavor, then scientific discoveries, then industrial designs, trademarks, service marks and the commercial names and the designations. Okay, then the uh, uh, protection against unfair competition and all other rights resulting from intellectual activity in the industrial, scientific, literary or artistic field, we call it as a intellectual property. Okay, and uh, we are going to see you now what are the different types of intellectual properties are there. So before we go ahead with that, uh, there are different uh, international treaties are there. So number one, we call it as a Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property, 1883. When you are identifying something new for the first time, so we have to protect it. Number two, Bern Convention for the Protection of Literary and Arctic Work, 1886. Then International Union for the New Varieties of Plant, 1961, 1972, 1978, 1991. And as far as India is concerned, even now, recently 2002, we have a, a separate IPR, particularly for India, New Varieties of Plants. Then Convention on Biodiversity, 1992. Then agreement on trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights. This we call it as a TRIPS. Trade-related aspects of intellectual property rights. We call it as a TRIPS, which came into force 
with the effect of 1st January 1995 onwards. Okay, India also became a signatory in it. So right from 1st January 1995 onwards, in India, we are adopting product patent. We are not adopting process patent except the pharma industry. Okay, then enter trade is 1996. Then these are all the basic principle, contract between creator and the sovereign state. Protection for revolution. Then balance between rights of creator and the public interest. Rights and the limitation and the exceptions. Then major intellectual properties, copyright and related rights. Then industrial property related to patents. Patent, you know very well. We can know they give complete rights for an individual for a period of about 20 years. And until the 20 year period, no one is permitted to use their uh, patent. Okay, once the 20 years period is over, so anyone can come with a patent. Say, for example, now you take this ranitidine. உங்களுக்கெல்லாம் In the party, you know, just 70 weeks. You know, the patent period has expired. Today, almost all the companies are producing this ranitidine. So, patent rights are there. There are many costs. Patent rights are there. There are many costs. There are many costs. Industrial designs. Okay. So, you know, you can see the product. You can see the car. You can see the car. You can see the rare lamps. You can see the one and one color. Okay. You can see the car. 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 அப்புறம் அந்த மகேந்திரா கார் வேற மாதிரி இருக்கு டொயோட்டா கார்ஸ் வேற மாதிரி இருக்கு ஓகே அந்த டிசைன் யூ யூ சி தட் டிசைன் ஆஃப் தட் ரேர் லேம்ப் அந்த டிசைனே இட் இஸ் கிவ்ஸ் வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் வியூஸ் தென் ட்ரேட் மார்க்ஸ் ஓகே ட்ரேட் மார்க்ஸ் த்ரூ விச் இட் இஸ் பாசிபிள் ஃபார் யூ டு ஐடென்டிஃபை எப்படி கம்பெனி ஓகே தென் ஜாகிரபி இண்டிகேஷன் ஜாகிரபி இண்டிகேஷன் அப்படிங்கிறது ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட ஏரியா ஜாகிரபி இண்டிகேஷன்ல அந்த ப்ராடக்ட் மட்டும் தான் இருக்கு ரொம்ப நாளா இருக்கு அப்படின்னா அதுக்கு வந்து வி கால் இட் ஜி ஐ டேக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் திருப்பதி லட்டு திருப்பதி லட்டு நம்ம யாரும் ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ண கூட திருப்பதியில் மட்டும் தான் ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணணும் பிகாஸ் தே ஹவ் அப்டேண்ட் ஜி ஐ டேக் சிமிலர் இஸ் அ கேஸ் வித் காஞ்சிபுரம் சில்க் சாரீஸ் ஓகே காஞ்சிபுரம் சில்க் சாரீன்னா அவங்க மட்டும் தான் ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணணும் நம்மளால் ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ணவே கூடாது அது ஸோ இட் இஸ் அ ட்ரேட் மார்க் ஆஃப் ஐ மீன் திஸ் ஜி ஜி ஐ டேக் ஆஃப் காஞ்சிபுரம் சில்க் ஓகே அதே மாதிரி அந்த மேங்கோ ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் நாக்பூர் ஆரஞ்சஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஓகே சோலாப்பூர் செப்பல் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இதெல்லாம் வந்து ஜி ஐ டேக் அப்புறம் லே அவுட் டிசைன்ஸ் அண்ட் டோப்போகிராஃபிஸ் ஆஃப் இன்டெகிரேட்டட் சர்க்கியூட்ஸ் அண்ட் தென் ட்ரேட் சீக்ரெட்ஸ் இந்த கோகோ கோலா அதுக்கப்புறம் இந்த பெப்சி இதனுடைய ஃபார்முலா வந்து நம்ம யாருக்குமே தெரியாது ஸோ இதெல்லாம் வந்து வி கால் இட் இஸ் ட்ரேட் சீக்ரெட்ஸ் அப்புறம் வந்து ப்ரொடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் நியூ பிளான்ட் வெரைட்டிஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இது எல்லாமே வி கால் இட் இஸ் அ மேஜர் இன்டெலக்சுவல் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி ரைட்ஸ் இதெல்லாம் ஐபிஎல் லாஸ் இன் இந்தியா தி காப்பரேட் ஆக்ட் நைன்டீன் ஃபிஃப்டி செவன் ஹையர் எஜுகேஷன் த பேட்டன்ஸ் ஆக்ட் நைன்டீன் செவன்டி இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் பாலிசி அண்ட் ப்ரொமோஷன் the design act 2000 industrial policy and promotion the trademark act 1999 industrial policy and promotion the jargon indications of goods registration and protection act 1999 industrial policy and promotion the semiconductor integrated circuits layout design act 2000 information technology the protection of plant varieties and farmers right 2001 again agriculture and cooperation so these are the different things i think we are not worried about these areas copyright and all i think not necessary patent is most important for us okay the yeah, patent is an exclusive right that's why i told you it is an exclusive right given to us okay for an invention which is a product or a process that provides a new way of doing something or offers a new technical solution to a problem or udaharana ku eduthirukken appadina there is a company called natco pharma india la okay in the natco pharma enna pannanga appadina they have copied down their product it is meant for lung cancer lung and kidney cancer ஓகே அது ஏற்கனவே ஒரு ஃபாலின் ஜெர்மனி கம்பெனி ஒன்று தயாரிச்சுருக்காங்க அதே ப்ராடக்டை இவங்க லான்ச் பண்ணாங்க ஓகே இந்த ஜெர்மன் கம்பெனி வந்து ஒரு மாதத்துக்கு ரெண்டரை லட்ச ரூபா செலவாகும் ஆனால் நம்ம நேட்கோ பார்க்கலாம் அது வாங்கினீங்கன்னா மா மாதத்துக்கு உங்களுக்கு முப்பதாயிரம் ரூபா தான் செலவாகும் ஓகே அப்போ அந்த காரணத்தில் உங்களுக்கு ப்ராசஸ் பேட்டன் வந்து இந்தியாவில் பர்மிட் பண்ணுறாங்க ஈவன் டுடே ஓகே இப்போ நமக்கு கோவிட் நைன்டீன் இன்ஜெக்ஷன்லாம் இவ்வளோ அஃபோர்டபுள் ரேட்டில் நம்ம கிடைக்கிறது ஓகே என்ன ரீசன் அப்படின்னா வி ஹவ் ப்ராசஸ் பேட்டன் ஃபார் திஸ் ப்ராடக்ட் process patent abna in mari emergency situations romba emergency national emergency is there so in such is the case the patent will give a process patent will be helpful to us okay 
இப்ப நாம வந்து ஆஸ்திரோஜெனிக்கோட கோவிஷீல்டு எல்லாருமே போட்டிருக்கோம் அதே மாதிரி பைசரோட மாடனா அதுக்கப்புறம் வந்து கோவி பாவாக்சின் பை பாரத் பயோடெக் ஓகே இந்த ப்ராடக்ட் எல்லாமே பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஒவ்வொன்றும் from this uh, foreign companies and that's what we are doing in india okay so process patent given today it is permitted in india in pharma sector so anybody interested in launching a pharma molecule it is possible for you to launch that particular molecule you just see you know there are different molecules are there in diabetes okay diabetes in a treat pannano apdina there are different uh, uh, molecules are available adala romba latest or molecule vandu player paathina there is a brand okay nariya brand okay adala nariya ஒருத்தருக்குறிபிட் <laughs> Uh, without permission okay so these are all the things what can so what can be patented so invention in all fields of technology whether products or processes if they meet the criteria of novelty non obviousness innovative step and industrial application it is possible for you to have these things utility then conditions of patentability novelty innovative step industrial application okay invention not known to public prior to claim by inventor then there must be inventive steps must be there okay inventive would not be obvious to a person with ordinary skill in the art okay then uh, industrial application must be there invention can be made or used in any useful practical activity as distinct from purely intellectual or aesthetic one okay so there should be industrial application must be there inventive steps must be there and it should be new then only it is possible for us to obtain a patent rights okay so grant a patent patents are granted by national patent offices after publication and the substantial examination of the applications in india provisions exist for pre grant and the post grant opposition by others and they are valid within territorial limits of the country and foreigners can also apply for patents and then an invention which is frivolous or which claims anything obviously contrary to the well established natural laws okay so they are not patentable for example no if you take machine giving more than 100 percent performance it is not possible okay and the perpetual motion machine and the newton's law of gravitation okay there are certain things no which uh, there is a, this is much only you can achieve you cannot go beyond it okay so therefore it is not possible for you to go for invention okay so the, the mere discovery of scientific principle or formulation of an abstract theory or discovery of any living thing or non living substance occurring in nature all the things so it is not possible for you to i mean uh, implement it okay and the next comes your method of agriculture or uh, agriculture cannot be plants animals in whole or any part they are of other than micro organism but including seeds varieties and species and essentially biological process for production or propagation of plants and animals in clones and new varieties of plants for example the process of production of plants animals if it consists entirely of natural phenomena such as crossing or selection okay and the mathematical method or business method or algorithm or computer program these are the outcomes of mental process only and do not involve industrial process or product for example computer program claimed by yourself or as a record of a career okay so there are lot of things are there which are not uh, patentable the latest license i think not applicable to us so we stop with this uh, presentation and if you have any doubts in this uh, edp session you please tell me so that let me explain those areas okay so what uh, we should know we have studied about what it mean by innovation okay innovation means it is successful commercialization of invention we call it as an innovation that is point number 1 and then point number 2 that uh, innovation is an outcome of uh, entrepreneurial talent and i have given a uh, very good examples uh, those who are there in india and those who are there in uh, tamil nadu okay so if you take india level i think you can you have to take that uh, jamshed tata uh, group chairman okay they are the first people you know they have entered into entrepreneurial talented uh, people and then your ambani group then adani group right now 
and there are a large number of uh, entrepreneurs are there in Gujarat, similarly in Mumbai. And there are entrepreneurs who are uh, involving in a uh, uh, few areas like uh, IT, or IT enabled services industry, or banking, uh, uh, banking industry, for example. There's uh, some of the new generation banks which are established by people, all the things will come under the category of uh, uh, people, those who have joined. Okay, so these are all the areas which comes under. I'm in this area. Then we have to discuss about uh, what do you mean by pattern rights. Okay, we have also discussed about uh, what are all the things which comes under patent, what can be patent, what cannot be patented. That also we have discussed. Okay, then we have to discuss about uh, what are all the entrepreneurial challenges and what are the opportunities which are available. Then we have also discussed about uh, what are the skills which are required for an entrepreneur. We can know risk taking is the ability and again capacity to bearing the risk. And again, opportunity, they are the people who are identifying an opportunity and they are the people who are trying to identify new products or new processes and they try to find new ventures or they try to identify new markets. Okay, So all the things will come under, I mean, this uh, entrepreneurial uh, journey or entrepreneurial entrepreneurship. Okay, then uh, we are going to share with another PPT slide right now. We'll see about what you mean by small business. Sir, is it visible? Yeah, we are going to discuss about uh, these areas. What do you mean by small businesses? Okay. Include the 27.8 million business in the US, represent 99.7 percent of all firms. Nearly you now 53 percent in India. If we take now, they are belongs to small size of business. Small in size related to larger competitors, fewer than 500 employees, and attractive small firms offer substantial financial rewards. And micro business provide modest returns. Localized business operations except to marketing. Okay, so these are all the scenarios in which a small business are operating. Then financing supplied by one person or small group has a potential to become more than one person show. Okay, then comes your entrepreneurial opportunity, an economically attractive and a timely opportunity that creates value for interested buyers or end users. I gave an example now that uh, setting up of uh, this particular company, which is known as Supply and Antibiotic Company, okay, which has been set up, uh, but, uh, set up by the Orchid chemicals and pharmaceuticals. Okay, so that we can call it as a one of the excellent innovation. If you ask me, because you know, now they are capable of meeting the India's entire requirement of uh, uh, this uh, product, which is known as Cephalosporin. The the either Okay, so there are different type of entrepreneurial opportunities are available in India for us to, I mean, it is possible for us to set up our own organization. So one need to identify, you know, where it is possible for us to set up our own organization or set up our company so that, you no, know, it is possible for us to make money like anything. You know, if you take, you know, this uh, pharma industry is growing at the rate of 32%. Okay, if you take the Germa uh, industry alone, they are roughly around 32,000 crores of business. Okay. So there are a large number of opportunities are there as far as India is concerned. And it is possible for all of us to earn more and more income by adapting this uh, methodology. Okay. So with this, I will stop and you can uh, re rejoin back by 3.15. Okay. I request all of you to please uh, rejoin back uh, again by 3.15. Okay. And I will address it through my personal computer. Because you know, right now only the power came. I'm uh, doing right now the classes handled by me through laptop and uh, my mobile. And uh, by 3.15 now, I'll be handling the same session through my, I mean, personal computer. I request all of you, please stay back. And uh, those who are not joined, uh, please note on my email ID and the mobile number. So that now you can uh, send a mail to me so that I'll give you all these PPT slides to you. I'll send you right now. Okay. So please note on my email ID and uh, mobile number. Or I'll put in this uh, thing.
আমরা